Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Ingus and I'm from iJust Electronics and today we're going to be checking out analog output values. We're going to have a look at how they are wired and uh, how to test them. We're going to check out the current, we're going to check out the voltage. We're going to look into the TI portal as well, how to uh, more or less scale norm to get get, get like a, a more of an understandable value to work with. And we're going to be as, uh, as well checking out how to quickly output what you well, I'll put the current or voltage we're trying to do using a move instruction. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. So if you missed the last video, we did the analog inputs already. Don't forget to check out the playlist. So yeah, and all the right manuals and any, any other information that I do believe will help you in any possible way will be in the description below. So do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Here we are, so uh, as you can see we have a uh, analog output card in here, an analog uh, output uh, in here, because this is both analog input and analog output. Principle we're going to be talking about in here, this guy in here is a standalone, you can plug onto it, and by the way you can have uh, analog inputs as well in here, which I think I mentioned in the previous video, so in case you need a... Uh, uh, current going into your uh, controller and you can't be bothered. you only need one channel for it yeah it's a very good point uh, to have unfortunately there's only one channel but it is what it is and this one is as, again it's the same as, as this the principle is the same of the wiring so as you can see in the wiring let's just take that one off you can see all these dots in here that means nothing they are uh, again reserved for different types of types of cards so there's uh, all sorts of different cards out there, but they were more basically for more channels. But as you can see down there, the first line is this line in here, and and then the uh, uh, second line from the top, second line is going to be the, the line right here in the bottom. As you can see, it shows in here 0M and 0, and 1M and 1. That pretty much uh, tells you the channel. This is the, the first channel, it's just a zero channel, and obviously it's not going to be marked like that in a OTI portal, but sort of giving you an idea. But that one in here, that's your first channel, that's the second channel, and 0M. M always starts, stands for negative, so this is where your negative part is going to come out of your, uh, uh, I marked it there already, uh, negative part is coming out, and obviously the 0 or 1 or actual, actual value number itself is going to be always your plus. And that's pretty much all there is. The next thing we're going to have a look at it, how to... a uh, test them so find out to make sure that uh, the, the range you are putting in the is correct voltage is coming out because every now and then things can go uh, wrong with the card and uh, the, the voltage is not correctly coming out and your card is most likely in line so but yeah uh, so that's what we're going to find out in a minute how to test them there's a couple of ways to do that and uh, we're going to do that on a laptop right now so we're gonna, what we're going to do we're going to stop this one on the DC because at the moment this guy is uh, lights, lights, light is connected to uh, these two wires in here. So measure the voltages. Uh, we're gonna be doing the voltage. Uh, last time we did we did current. This time we're gonna do the voltage. So uh, so yeah, let's jump on the uh, TI port and see how what we can do with it. Here we are. So the first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna check out the addresses. So uh, you can see the card in here. You can, do, you can click on that one and uh, whatever reason that's down there. And here I guess this is a uh, first channel here under general analog outputs and you look at the channel zero down there and as you can see it's been set to voltage. We're not going to do much about them so as you can see now you can do voltage and current. The only thing is you can output only zero to ten now plus minus ten which is all right and the current you can do for this particular card it can looks like only can do zero to twenty one. I did not know that. Oh we learned that. Interesting. Okay, so I didn't know that. So this particular card can only do uh, zero to twenty volts. So you, so it is current. I mean, zero to twenty milliamps. So if you are buying one of those, make sure you know what it is. So, uh, but we're going to be more or less playing with this card, which is our analog in and output card. And obviously, you can get these cards with just analogs and things like that. So uh, there's our channels down here. So channel zero is being set to volts, which are already set up and. Uh, and uh, this one in here, you can see, he's got options, so we get both. You can do both in here. There you go, that's good. So we're going to keep that on the volts, because we're going to be checking both of them out. 
uh, just uh, come on change here we go and uh, yeah, then we have a second channel set up to do be to be a current for to 20 milliamps coming out so we're gonna keep that as is as well so uh uh, so yeah, so this is where you find out, and then obviously the tags in here, which are already named when it's voltage out, voltage in, uh, current out. So that's pretty much is 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 how you find out the addresses, and it's, for Siemens it's really really easy. You just literally drag and drop. It's, it's, they've done it really really good for this, at least in TI portal. So from there on, as you can see in here, I have created a function block, and this function block is something that. Uh, I like working with the function blocks because it helps me to uh, more or less tidy up the programs when I do. Guys, I'm not a programmer by a mile, but I know enough to get me by and test the systems. So uh, what I do in here, I use norm and a scale uh, to create to work uh, to create a value workable values because uh, in this card, zero to twenty seven thousand six hundred forty eight will be zero will be zero volt and twenty seven thousand six hundred forty eight is going to be a uh, 10 volts so i wanted to easier way to work with it which which i created a uh, integer values in here which is uh, i created my uh, what's this table data, data block or something like that no i forgot what this what this table is called I'm, I'm, I'm basically creating these tags in here which is internal ones so uh, my input is going to be in a, a block interface is called here in a block interface uh, i am a putting my hmi in and uh, also I'm uh, uh, my output is going to be in my temporary for now so that's not going to be no input nor output it's going to be the temporary uh, value and that as you can see down here 0 to 100 will output 0 to 1 from in, uh, uh, as a real number and the real number is going to come in here and we're going to uh, output integer value from 0 to 27,648 on a scale so it's going to scale it uh, from uh, 0 to 1 to this number in here and it's going to come out uh, uh, as output, I uh, call it as a volt and I put that in here uh, as a volt as well. So that's uh, how you would uh, more or less work with your, uh, if you want your uh, voltage to be output and you are uh, more or less are able to deal with it with the humanly matter, I would call it. And then I just go into my OB1, drag my function block into the network one, and then add the actual uh, uh, physical uh, blocks ish. So I got memory word six, which is going to be I uh, could be coming from HMI or anywhere. And obviously output, as you can see down there, output a uh, word ninety six as well, which can be voltage out. Or you can go very lazy way. You just want to test the uh, inputs and outputs uh, output uh, output uh, not the input output uh, the output value just use move, move a standard move so basically in here just put a uh, uh, let's just uh, where, do, 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 do. rewrite the tag as you can see global memory as an integer will come up with the next available address and uh, do that so uh, and all you're gonna do is basically say you know or if you know, know the rate of value is 27,000 uh, something whatever that was and, and it will just it will just uh, transfer that into the into the uh, output word 98 and uh, that's it so you'll be able to read those values as, as without any scaling you don't have to do the scaling uh, and or norming and scaling if you don't want to so you can still uh, get a volt or current out so uh, I haven't done that so I'm going to load this one in. What we're going to do, we're going to set up our uh, first uh, camera in a minute. So, uh, so here we go, that is in. So let's go into uh, the watch. So, uh, and uh, let's turn on our camera. Uh, where is that camera? It's down here. So how much do we see? I think we should be able to see. Yeah, we should be able to see fair amount so there we go so unfortunately for this particular setup i don't have all the screen so it is what it is and it was basically in here so uh you just uh where is it modify modify operand and uh, let's say we do a 50 because we know we are normalizing scale this one already that should output a if our meter would be alive so There we go. Without putting five uh, volts, 
and let's change that one. So that seems to be working pretty good. So modify app around. Let's go for 100, 100%, and that should give us exactly 10 volts. Perfect. So now uh, let me pause in here. We're going to change over to current. Here we are. So that's been changed over. As you can see now, we can see the current in there. So let's go in here. Go in here. here. Modify the operand. And what we're going to do in here, we're literally going to be copying this value, which is a 27, 6, uh, 4, 8. And that should equate to 20 milliamps. And it is. So there we go. So, uh, uh, let's change that one for a bit. So that's that that okay. analog output value works pretty good. So um, so let's go do let's go seventeen thousand. Why not? And that's going to be equating of uh, point, uh, zero, uh, fourteen milliamp. And that will be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this is giving you a good understanding how things work, how to test them. And uh, do let me know in the comments below if you want to see the video of a fluke meter being in action, how it's all been uh, set up and wired up. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of you people, uh, a lot of people out there already know how to do that. But do let me know if you struggle with understanding how to uh, um, measure these values, because uh, if you're working in a process in 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 in, uh, in uh, factories where there's a lot of analog signals going around, it's a very handy tool to have. But yeah, on that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, uh, smash that like if you do, and uh, subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.